Counting the days feels futile now. The concept of time has blurred into a hazy oblivion. And I can't even recall which date it actually is anymore. But does it even matter in this endless cycle? Every day seems to blend into the next. Every night a never-ending nightmare. I simply exist. Drifting along aimlessly like a ghost. Haunting my own life. And then come the faces. Lingering in my mind each night. Faces of the dead. Some familiar and hauntingly recognisable. Others twisted and distorted beyond recognition. They seem to mock me. Reminding me of all that has been lost. And all that I cannot escape from. In this soupy dreamlike state. They are the only constant presence. Tormenting me. As I drift further away from reality. I find myself drawn to the familiar faces, unable to look away, even as they contort and morph before my eyes. It's as though they are trying to tell me something, a message that I am struggling to decipher in my fractured state of mind. Their voices echo in my head, a cacophony of whispers and screams and growls. It only serves to deepen my confusion. But amidst the chaos, there is one face that stands out from the rest. A face I recognise all too well. Etched with pain and sorrow that mirrors my own. It is the face of someone I loved. Someone I lost in this tragedy. A face that still haunts me to this day. As their eyes bought into mine, I feel a surge of emotion unlike anything I've experienced in this numbing void. In that moment, a spark of clarity pierces through the fog in my mind. The faces around me begin to fade into the background, their voices growing distant as I focused all of my attention on her. I whisper, my voice catching in my throat, and then the vision fades away and I find myself back into reality, facing a nightmare. As a taste of bitter regret fills my mouth, I remember the events that led to Elena's death as I fight for my life. But I can honour her memory. I can fight for a future where her loss is not in vain. Rising from the depths of despair, I push forward with newfound resolve. The faces that once tormented me now serve as a reminder of the stakes at hand. Each day may still blur into the next, but now there is a purpose driving me forward, a beacon of hope in the darkness. Elena. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that introduction story written by our lovely Raven the Thrall. Be seeing a lot more of that character in future episodes and we'll get to learn more about Elena and Raven as he writes more of the story. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited. I want to know what happened to Elena. I want to know what happened to Raven. Ah, oh, this is cool. This is so much fun. 
If you would also like to write a character story like Raven's doing, then please join my Discord and have a look in the Survivor Stories Gen Chat section for more information on what you can do and how to proceed. If you want to alternatively narrate your own story, then that's possible as well. Full written credit for your work will be given in each video. If you're a content creator like me, then as well as full credit, links to your channels and your social media and further promotion will be given too, as your input is classed as a collaboration. Let's get creative guys and write some awesome stories for our survivors. Looking forward to seeing what you can come up with.